Hello there, it's Susan, here to read you a story. This one is just quite a short story, but it's a lovely one and the pictures are really good. I hope you like it. This is by one of my favourite authors, actually, Morag Hood. Morag Hood. And she is another person who, as well as writing the words, also draws the pictures. So she's the author and the illustrator. And this book, she's written loads, but this particular one is called Alfred and Albert, a love story. Who doesn't like a love story? <laughs> and look, can you see them? Alfred and Albert. And Alfred and Albert are aardvarks. Can you see what they've got in their hands? What do you think it might be? He's got some broccoli, that's right. And he's got some cheese. Mm. That will become important later on in the story. Here we go. <laughs> this is the story of two aardvarks. I'm Alfred, thought Alfred. And I'm Albert, thought Albert. And the little bird, you can see he's having a think as well. And he's thinking two aardvarks. Alfred loved stars, broccoli and picnics. Do you like any of those things? I like all of them. Hmm. Albert loved flowers, sunshine and cheese. I love all of those things too. And they both loved sleeping rather a lot, except Albert slept all night. Eagle, there he is in his burrow sleeping. And Alfred slept all day. Now it's daytime and he's asleep. Hmm, come to you. Which meant that they'd never met each other. Look. As one goes to bed, the other one gets up and they never know about each other. Sometimes Alfred thought, I might quite like to be part of a pair. Because look, he's trying to use the seesaw. That doesn't really work when you're by yourself, does it? You need someone to help you. Or one of a two, thought Albert. What's he trying to do? He's trying to play tennis. You can't play tennis by yourself. You need a friend to play tennis with. Hmm. But most of the time their minds were on other things. How green is broccoli? Thinks Albert. Hmm. It's an interesting question. Will I have enough cheese? And so it looked like nothing would ever change. Do you think he does have enough cheese? Hmm. When I grate cheese in my house for a meal, people come along and pinch it before I've had a chance to use it. Does that happen in your house? Hmm. Unless, oh, maybe this bird will help. Hmm. Somebody came up with a plan. And the bird's thinking, I've got to get these two to meet each other. Hmm. But nothing changed when Albert was woken up one night. Hmm. I wonder why I'm awake, thought Albert. But before he, uh, before he turned over and went back to sleep. So the bird set an alarm clock for him, but it didn't wake up. Nothing changed when Alfred saw something very unusual. I wonder where that broccoli is going, thought Alfred. And look, the bird just said, look, broccoli, best broccoli down here. And then he just carried on with his evening. He wasn't very curious about it. 
Like if he'd only found the follow the broccoli, he would have found Albert. Amy. Nothing changed even when they both got in a bit of a tangle. So what's the bird done this time? He's got a nice big ball of wool and he's kind of tied them together. Hmm. How did all this string get here? thought Albert. I don't like string, thought Alfred. But look, Albert's just got a pair of scissors and is cutting it. He's not following it. Oh dear. It seemed that nothing could bring Alfred and Albert together. Nothing at all. And that was very sad. Look, the bird is crying. Mm. I know how to cheer that bird up, thought Alfred. And he's got a picnic blanket, some broccoli, some flowers, and some worms, because I think aardvarks like to eat worms. Oh no, birds would like worms, that's why he's got worms. Silly mummy, silly me. And, oh no, he tripped and he's fallen down the hole. In a way, he did. Look, he's fallen right down the hole into the burrow and... Albert thinks, that's an aardvark. And Alfred says, ow, I've just fallen down into a burrow. Because that was the story of how Alfred met Albert. And they all lived happily ever after. Look, they've got broccoli and cheese together, which is even better. They're both using the seesaw together. Amazing. They've gone for lovely picnics. They've been playing tennis. And most importantly, their little friend, the bird, is relaxing in their burrow. In a nice chair. And there's a lovely picture of them. And the nice thing about Morag Hood's books there's always a little bonus bit at the end. And in this one, it's facts about aardvarks. Because mm, aardvarks are real animals. And I'll read them to you now. The name aardvark comes from the Afrikaans language and it means earth pig. Hmm. I suppose they look a little bit like pigs and they, they dig into the ground. During the day, most aardvarks except for Albert, spend their time sleeping in holes underground called burrows. Their claws look like small spades, which make them powerful and speedy diggers. They can dig up to 60 centimetres in 15 seconds. That is fast. Aardvarks can close their nostrils. Can you close your nostrils? Your nostrils are these holes at the bottom of your nose. Can you close them? I can't close mine. Why would they want to do that? Ah, to stop dust and tickly insects from getting in. That's handy if you burrow in the ground, I suppose. Hmm. There we go. So that was Alfred and Albert by Morag Hood. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll read you another story very soon if you would like. Okay, bye for now.